The first character that we meet in our story properly is Alexa. Alexa is a true scientist at heart, so she just wants to learn about the devices and what they do and how the time travel works. Not necessarily concerned about the consequences that they may have. What she's trying to do is defend the, this thing that she's, that she's fascinated by, that she's trying to study from the people who would take it away from her. The fact that Alexa is a woman scientist working in the 1960s means that she probably had a pretty rough time. But I like the idea that there was going to be a main character in the story who was fighting an uphill battle, who was a little bit different already, and who was the kind of person that would take a time machine and run away if it meant that somebody else was going to take it away from her. Alexa's being chased through time by an army soldier. That soldier becomes one of our other main characters, Bertram. Bertram doesn't really like time travel. He feels it's gonna harm society. Bertram tends to see everything from a militaristic point of view. So to him, donuts can be used as weapons. He sees how they can change the future, and he takes it upon himself to try to stop that. Spatz is the quintessential kid from the 90s, pretty much my generation and he's just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and then the wrong time after that, and the wrong time after that. Spatz is a pop culture fiend. He's seen it all. So when he gets pulled along on this time travel adventure, it really doesn't phase him. One of the great things about comic book stories is that you never know who's gonna quite make it to the end of the story. And I think the Accelerator has a lot of fun with putting his characters in situations that are a lot more dangerous than you would expect.